Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we will continue with the MLflow uh, tool. So, in the previous video, we started off with setting up MLflow and then we created a model and then we tried to register the model into MLflow and we've seen how it works. Okay, so we have written this piece of code on the left hand side where we have a regression model getting created using random forest and then we are what? pushing it to the uh, local instance of MLflow. So the model name was a scalar model to there are multiple experiments which we ran and we were able to what push it to MLflow in this tree. Okay. So now what we'll do in this video is we'll try to uh, deploy that model or serve that model for the end user. This will be like a simple thing because uh, since it is not a production grid that you are going to run will be doing in multiple ways. One is locally, okay, which means you can use any of the APIs like Flask, okay, Fast API or anything. By default, MLflow provides Flask, okay, the backend. And we can also use something like we can integrate the model, uh, MLflow model from MLflow registry to ML server, which is another tool which is used for uh, what deploying models or serving models. Okay, so with that, what I'll do is, so I just explained, uh, this was the code forward, uh, setting up, uh, this was the commands for setting up the MLflow and this is the code that we ran to register the model to MLflow. So first what I'll do is, I'll just uh, go and run the MLflow server, okay, I'll take this code which is MLflow server which will start the MLflow server. So let me run that mlflow server hyphen host and this is the IP and this is the port number. So this will start the uh, mlflow server and it will be running up and running here. Uh, let me go here and 127 dot. Okay, so there are multiple experiments that we created. One was the experiment one where we had the specific run name and what was the model and what was the duration it took. And then there was another experiment which was also done five days ago and uh, this is the experiment name and everything. Okay. Now if you want to go in depth, yeah, you can go here what was the parameters and everything that you can look here. And what is the registered model name and what is the version. Yeah. So those are the details that we know of. Now what we'll do is we want to deploy this model. Okay. So while I was experimenting with deployment, okay, there are a bunch of things that needs to be understood. Okay, it is not very simple to work, go on deploying it like because there are certain settings that needs to be changed, certain package that needs to be added. Okay, for instance, okay, first what you have to do is you have to run this since this is a Ubuntu environment that I'm running in. Okay, so I have to what first do this particular command. Okay, then I have to what install this particular package and then I have to create a path where I have attached this PN, PYENV, okay, PYENV in environment I mean okay is attached to the path okay and then still okay what I felt is there was certain issues that were coming up if I want to just click this issue okay so there was certain issue that came up okay which were like not allowing us to run so what we did is there are certain dependencies with respect to Ubuntu that needs to be installed so this was a dependency that got fixed after installing this command after running this command I was able to resolve that issue Okay, so once that was done, then I was able to what run this particular uh, uh, MLflow server, right? I was able to solve the models. So first thing, right? So first we have to what run the MLflow server, okay? Such that your MLflow models can be picked from there, and we can run it or deploy it. Okay, for that, and we also should be aware of what setting an environment variable, okay? Which I'll show here. Uh, let me see if it is already set or not. I'll just do env. Okay, and here. So I don't see it, I guess, here. So ML, that is MLflow tracking URI, I guess. MLflow, MLflow. So if it is not, yeah, it is this one. So MLflow tracking URI that is the what uh, environment that needs to be set. Okay. So what will happen is when you try to deploy, it will pick that particular. Uh, it will understand there is a specific environment from where it has to pull the model or fetch the model from. Okay. 
Now what we'll do is, since we have the model stored somewhere in the ML flow registry, we have the path given in the environment or the, oh yeah, in the environment. Now what we can do is we can directly uh, run the uh, ML flow model serves. Okay, model serving can be done. So what, first what we have to do is, just have to pick the model, this command, right? This command will help you on doing this. So ML flow model serve hyphen M, this is one of the runs actually. If I go here, okay and go to this one okay and i'm not sure if this is the model showing okay this is different run id so this is not the one let me go and check this one yeah so if i fac f8 okay so yeah this particular uh model will be picked okay so let me just copy this code okay command ml flow model serve hyphen m okay just copy paste it it will pick that particular model, the particular artifact, and it will run it, and it will be exposed through port 5000. Okay. So, now already 8501 ML flow server 8080, the ML flow is running. Okay, at 5000, we have this model deployed. Okay. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll try to hit this particular model. Okay and see if it is able to get get the predictions out right so in the next uh, terminal okay what we'll do is since it is already up and running okay it is hosted on uh, 127.0.0.1 5000 we'll have the invocation uh, route and where we'll pass the data the input model takes in four features so we have that four features and we'll see how the output comes up So let me run this here. So it has given me the predictions. Okay. Now we are not concerned with the prediction if it is correct or wrong. So we just want to understand if it is able to deploy the model or not. So since this is done, now what we'll do is uh, this is one way of what exposing the model and what trying to uh, hit the API endpoint. Okay, where you have Flask running in the back end. Now, what is there? Uh, there is something called as uh, what ML server, okay, which is also similar to what hosting or deploying the model or uh, serving the model. So, uh, what we'll do is for that we have to run this package called as you know, ML server. Okay, let me go to that particular tool itself, right? So, there is ML server tool, okay. So you have to install the package in the getting started, you will get the pip, uh, uh, whatever the command and you can install the package. And then what you can do is, you have to create something called a settings.json. Okay, because uh, ML server has its own module. Okay, if I just go here, models.setting. It has its own module called ML server underscore ML flow and it has its own runtime for ML flow models, which is ML flow runtime. Okay, now these two things are there and then what we have to do is we just have to uh, just run this file or ML, uh, ML flow start right or ML server start we have to do and it will automatically pick this uh, file and it will try to uh, run this particular model which is present here. Let me close this, this is no longer required or you can see that the path URA path that is given which is also an ML flow path okay which it will pick from the ml flow registry which is hosted on 8080 it will pick from there it will try to host it here okay so for that uh, let me just go to this file okay where is ml server first ml ops i have to go to and then ml server and then what i'll do is there is a command called as ml server start let me see if this settings.py is here or not so yeah, models.settings.json is here. So what I'll do here is I'll just uh, do something called as ml server start. I'm not sure of the command as well. I'll just do this. Okay. Let's do this and let's see what happens. Okay. So there are some errors right here. So, but see. Uh, the thing is there are certain errors okay but at the end it successfully let me just pull this up it 
successfully what loaded the model the random forest registry this is the one model which we created right it was loaded successfully now uh, the thing is where it is hosted so it is running on uh, 80 81 and the metrics are uh, coming up on so let me so this model is running here let me check if i can get it here Oh, metrics. Okay, let's run all these things, right? Let's see what comes up. Zero dot zero colon eighty eighty one. So nothing is coming up here. Uh, let me see what else is there, right? Let's understand each of those things. Eighty eighty one. Nothing is there. Let's understand. So we are not getting anything here, then let's see Prometheus, so that is not there, uh, so it is server is running in 8080, but the thing is 8080 is already occupied if I am not wrong, okay, so it's already occupied, so what I can do is I think I have to give a separate path, let me see right the documentation, one eternity later hey welcome back and we did resolve the issue and there are a couple of things to to be resolved first is since i was running ml flow at 8080 so the ml server was also what running on 8080 and it, we were not able to what uh, make inference so we had to change the ml server host and uh, especially the port okay so we had to do that so what we do for that is we just export this updated port number for ml server ml server is http port 29001 okay and ml server host is 0, 0.0.0.0 .0. and then uh, after setting this up okay what we have to do is the second point is how we want to infer so the what is the url that is getting generated right for the ml server what is the for uh, exact uh, route okay so what is that so first is uh, we have to ensure that host is given the port is given and this is the default version number and models okay and this is the name of the model okay which is passed in model settings to json okay so that we have to take and we have to keep and then followed by infer is the routing path uh, the suffix at the end we have to add and also the other thing is we also have to ensure the payload format is maintained which is inputs followed by a list of dictionary okay so we have a model which takes in four features so we have to pass that and what's the data type of that and this is the type is nothing but input and the what's the shape of that particular input and then we have to what uh, hit the uh, ml server endpoint so this is we have already exposed it so i am already what running ml server i guess here so ml server start dot start dot and then the server is running on port uh, 9001 so if i go back here uh, clear the screen and if i just hit here ml python 3 ml py where this particular request dot is given right request dot post is given if i just run this it will give me the result so where the data is uh, this one the prediction result and its type is fp64 and one comma one is the shape and everything every other details which is nothing but our outputs okay so it is little tedious i felt when it comes to what uh, understanding the url part okay at least i had to put some effort there and also understanding what how the input will look like for each inference that you're passing okay so once that is done we are able to what, do the inference on on a ml server ML server hosted ML flow model. Okay, so what we have done is we have went through uh, ML flow uh, server model uh, which through locally which is through Flask and then we used ML flow integration with ML server and then we deployed the model and served the model and we are able to do the inference. So with this I will conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching.